Manchester United have been linked with like 100, probably 150 plus players so far this summer now. And one name that came up a couple of weeks ago, when I was running through potential replacements for Cristiano Ronaldo, I took a look at 19-year-old Red Bull Salzburg striker Benjamin Sesko. And I was saying that maybe if we start looking at different types of signings, signing like him could be one that we look at. And all of a sudden now, over the weekend, thanks to Fabrizio Romano, everyone's talking about Benjamin Sesko. Sometimes I know what I'm talking about when I take a look at who should we should be taking a look at. So in this video, I'm going to run through the full story of Benjamin Sesko. We're going to take a look at some quotes from himself. We're going to follow the story of Sesko to United and where it started. Spoiler alert, it's come from Fabrizio Romano. And then we'll take a look at his stats and how he's been getting on. Because Joshua Bundesliga started already and Sesko's already been scoring goals. And then we'll take a look at where he could fit into the team. We'll have a conversation about him in the comments below, as we always do. So make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. I try to do as many of these informative type videos as possible. So hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well and join the notification gang. But Benjamin Sesko, right? He's a top talent. And now he's been, lazily he's been called the, the new Erling Haaland. Before Erling Haaland's even played in the Premier League. I, I don't like that in football punditry and football journalism. I think, no, he's not. He's the first Benjamin Sesko. But this is what I said about him last... Well, there's two of me on screen. Terrible. This is what I said about him when I spoke about Sesko a couple of weeks ago. We can't do that in signing the right Ronaldo replacement. So maybe we'll try and go someone younger. Someone like Benjamin Sesko plays for RB Salzburg. A real talent. 19. He's the sort of signings that we will hopefully be making in the future. The sort of signings that haven't quite made it and cut it through to the top level yet. But that will do if given the right coaching. Maybe he could be someone that could be brought in and we could obviously get him relatively cheap. Uh, I definitely got that second bit wrong given the price that I'm getting seen linked with a move for him. But now Fabrizio Romano has confirmed that Man United are really interested in Benjamin Sesco. He's considered uh, really talented. He's one of the players who's been monitored. Monitored FC is back again. It's not imminent or advanced. That's not what I'm here saying. I'm here having a discussion about Benjamin Sesco rather than saying that this deal is close to being done. Now, I may have been wrong when I was saying the word cheap there because Simon Jones from the Mail is saying that there is a 55. Yes, I didn't say that wrong. No, there's no grammatical error there. 55 million pounds for a 19-year-old striker who's had one full season in the Austrian Bundesliga. Incredible. Incredible amounts of money. But that's just the way that the football transfer market has gone. That Maybe some people will look at that and go, wow, that's not too crazy. No, it's, it's completely and utterly balmy. But... As I said, the comparisons with Haaland are easy to draw. Haaland went there from Mulder as a physical freak. I mean, I, I, I don't mean that in a horrible way, but a, a freak, I say the word freak because it's just, just stand out. There aren't many of them. Haaland's physical prowess and combining speed with explosive, huge muscular power makes him stand out. And that's where Benjamin Sesco does have that similarity. Uh, but in terms of the comparisons... Where better than to go to Benjamin Sesko himself? In an interview he did back in 2021 when he was asked about those comparisons and whether or not that sort of is something that adds pressure to his game. He said, look, such comparisons motivate me, give me energy. They do not represent pressure. I will listen and learn so I can be even better than he is. My teammates at the club tell me that Haaland and I are very similar, especially in terms of speed. Most of them tell me I'm better than him. And that's good teammates positive <laughs> reinforcement that will hopefully convince him that he is better than Haaland, that he will become better than Haaland. But there's no doubt that he is a seriously top talent. Uh, and for a little bit more insight and information, here's some quotes from his agent. Now, of course, his agent is going to be his biggest propaganda fan and he'll just say whatever he needs to say. But it's still interesting to hear what he had to say. He said, in terms of when um, Cisco moved to Salzburg, this is what he said. He said, we had a lot of offers from really big clubs. Had we decided on the money, Benjamin would have moved to England or Italy. But we decided to look at the bigger picture and the Salzburg project. The biggest clubs in Europe tried to get him. The interest was huge. I've never seen anything like it before. But Salzburg gave Benjamin a path. Here he can develop. The people in charge really wanted him, which was important to us. And he's also got a greater chance of playing for the first team sooner or later. He is one of the greatest talents of his age group in Europe. Incredible body, tall, fast, great jumping ability, technically gifted. Greatest strength is, is his finishing. As I said, his agent's going to wax lyrical about him. But there's absolutely no doubt that physically he stands out. Uh, and also absolutely no doubt, by the way, that he made the right decision to join RB Salzburg. Because we're having a conversation about him now at the age of 19. And I draw comparisons to the Jude Bellingham situation. Jude Bellingham 
we tried our hardest to sign up Man United. Woodward got him into Carrington. We brought Fergie in. We brought his mum and his dad to... We did everything to woo him to join Man United. And he didn't. He joined Dortmund. Has that been a bad decision? No. He's broken into the England national team. He's done so much by the age of 19 because he moved to Dortmund. And clearly, that's something that Sesco has done. And it's something that's proven correct. Because now, all of a sudden... By the way, the Austrian Bundesliga has already kicked off. And who scored the first goal of the season for Salzburg? Benjamin Sesko. He actually scored two. Had a lovely little lofted finish with his left foot. Clipped in, hit the post. Looked like it went over the line. Probably should have gone in. He scored the first goal. He's in the first team. And it, look, he's obviously a top, top talent. Now, the first thing I think you might say is, um, why are we looking at Sesko? And maybe it was a Ralph Radnick recommendation. But we wouldn't have needed Ralph Radnick to be taking a look at Salzburg for top talents. <laughs> Anybody who know, understands football understands that Salzburg are excellent at identifying those players. And that's part of the Red Bull business model. So, of course, you're going to know that. But in terms of who Benjamin Sesko is, at 1.94 metres, the dude is huge. But I, I, this is where the, the Haaland comparisons have been drawn because he's not just uh, Peter Crouch. He's strong as hell, muscular as hell. If you take a look at his positioning so far, he's played 63 games uh, in this, no, no, more than 63 actually, but this is where he's played. He's a centre forward. If you take a look at his stats last year in the Bundesliga, he scored the Austrian Bundesliga, 24 games, five goals and three assists. But the year before in the second team, 29 goals, 21 assists, sorry, 29 appearances, 21 assists and six goals. We can't look into these numbers too much. Uh, but but the excitement about him is real. And if you take a look at where he would fit in a Manchester United, I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist. You know full well exactly where he would fit in. He would go straight up there as a number nine, as a very mobile number nine. Really, really mobile. He's, he's not like a target man and a target man alone. <laughs> Great touch for a big lad. It's exactly what he's got. But in terms of Manchester United's requirements this summer, this is where I think it's quite, you can understand the fact that we are interested in moving for him, right? Because at the age of 19, he is a sort of signing I think we've got to gear towards making more of. The signings who haven't broken through to the top tier of European football yet, but clearly with the right coaching and the right environment, will have the ability to do so. And with Anthony Martial having the preseason he has had, signing someone like Benjamin Sesko, I don't think he's a, a massively direct threat to him. I don't think Martial would cope very well, given what we've seen before in history with Cavani, with, Rena uh, with Ronaldo, with Lukaku, with Ibrahimovic. All different signings that we've made, all different signings who have come in and sort of gone ahead of Martial in the pecking order. And it hasn't helped him. Competition doesn't make him thrive. It does with most players. It doesn't with, with him. So signing someone like Sesco wouldn't be a, an immediate and direct threat to Martial, but somebody, the competition is there and would give options. And of course... I don't personally feel like Ronaldo staying or going would affect whether or not Cisco would be a good signing because of his age, because of the because of the position he is in in his career. I mean, imagine he, he would love to learn and play from Ronaldo for a year or two if he was to stay at the club. But if he wasn't to stay at the club, he would love to come in and replace Ronaldo and work with Martial. And I can just see all the reasons as to why he would be a signing that Eric Ten Hag would want. And as I said, this is something that Manchester United have to do. We have to start going out and identifying players like Benjamin Sesko before they've had that breakthrough season in the Austrian Bundesliga. We should be able to identify them at the age of 18, just as they're about to do that. Everyone's talking about him now, and that's why the idea that people are going to start slapping a £55 million price tag on him I mean, it is outrageous, but it's not outrageous because that's just the way that the transfer market has gone. But Fabrizio Romano has confirmed that he is one player that Man United are really interested in looking at. And I can understand completely why. As I said, if you take a look at what he says about himself, the way he carries himself, the what he's done so far in the Austrian Bundesliga, it's obvious that he's going to break through and maybe he can become a new Drew Bellingham, a new top young talent in European football. Maybe he could become the new Erling Haaland, if you want to call it that. But he will become the first Benjamin Sesko, and he backs himself to go on and have a career, maybe, that's even going to be better than Erling Haaland. And if you look at where he fits in at Manchester United, he would be an excellent supplement for Martial and Ronaldo, or both, or both of them if they stay. 
I don't think Ronaldo leaving or staying changes whether or not he'd be a good signing. And as I said, I want Eric Ten Hag and Manchester United to be making more signings like this. These youngsters who really will break through, the youngsters that we signed for 10, 15, 17 million like Tyrell Malasir, who will go on to become top-level players. Because that's how you build a sustainable club, because you can sell players, as well as buying players for profit. I'll buy players for profit, but you know what I mean. Look, that's the full story on Benjamin Sesko so far. I covered him a couple of weeks ago, and it's interesting to hear and see now that Fabrizio Romano has confirmed that Manchester United are looking at him. What do you think about him? Uh, maybe we can, I can try and speak to a journalist who's got links to Red Bull Salzburg, see if we can get a bit more insight into his character and how he's really been getting on, because it's hard to really fully understand exactly what sort of player he is without getting that insight. But I hope this video has helped you understanding a little bit to this point. Make sure you drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're not to United People's TV if you're new. I'll see you soon.